Hello and welcome to the Wayne State University Fall Semester Commencement Ceremony. My name is David Strauss and as the Dean of Students, it is my privilege and honor to recognize and celebrate our graduating class of 2020. This year has presented all of us with unprecedented challenges, but our students have shown their warrior strength through their perseverance and dedication. This is no small feat, and their achievements are made all the greater by the difficulties and uncertainties they have endured. I believe there's no limit to what our students can accomplish, and today marks the first of many steps they will take towards securing a brighter future for everyone. On behalf of the Dean of Students Office, the Student Senate, and all the student organizations, let me be the first to congratulate each of our students on this momentous occasion. The confirmation and celebration of Wayne State University's class of 2020. I would now like to introduce our Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Lori Lozon Klebo. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Congratulations to all of you for reaching this day. In spite of these very unusual circumstances, this is a celebration for the entire university. For over 150 years, Wayne State University has anchored the city of Detroit as an engaged and motivated community of scholars. Wayne State is one of the nation's 50 largest public universities with Michigan's most diverse student body. Today, nearly 27,000 students from almost every U.S. state and many countries around the world are pursuing degrees at Wayne State. Each one is earning an education at a nationally ranked research university strengthened by the culture, industry, and the diversity of its urban setting. We believe in the definition of a university as a place where highly motivated people of differing backgrounds and aspirations may pursue both knowledge and personal growth. I know all of you gathered here today have been able to experience all that this great university has to offer. You have grown in knowledge and developed your skills in the fields you have all chosen. You have made us all very proud of you. I know that each of you went through a lot to get to this point, but this moment is not only for you, but also for your families and friends who've made a lot of sacrifices so that you could succeed. There is no such thing as a self-made woman or man. We are all shaped by the influence and examples of everyone around us. Family, friends, faculty, all have helped you get to this day. They are all teachers and mentors in their own way. If a supportive member of your life is with you now, please give them a hug, an air hug, a socially distant elbow bump, or whatever is appropriate to let them know how much you appreciate them. If they're not with you right now, sometime today, give them a call. Let them know how much their support has meant to you. On behalf of the more than 2,600 faculty, academic staff, advisors, the deans of our 13 colleges and schools, and others who have taught you in virtual classrooms, worked with you in labs, guided you in real world settings, and met with you in their offices, we extend our deepest congratulations. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Honorable Marilyn Kelly, Chair of the University's Board of Governors, who will bring greetings on behalf of the board, Governor Kelly. Greetings to each of you on this very special day. On behalf of the members of the Board of Governors, it's my pleasure to welcome the graduates of the Class of 2020 and give you our deepest and most heartfelt congratulations. This has been a remarkable and challenging year for all of you, and your graduation comes at a time when the world around us is undergoing significant change. But we want your graduation and the tremendous accomplishments you've achieved to get the appropriate recognition they deserve. 
Commencement is the culmination of big dreams and hopes for the future. You've all worked incredibly hard to reach this moment, and you should be proud, as we are, of your accomplishments. Wayne State is an outstanding institution, and today you join more than one quarter of a million alumni who call our university their alma mater. Your dedication and commitment have brought you to this moment and have set the path for your future success. We know the warrior spirit runs strong in each of you, and as this past year has proven, it will guide you well in future endeavors. Congratulations from the Board of Governors and our best wishes to you and to your families on this wonderful milestone. Now, please welcome Linda Beal, President of the Academic Senate and Professor of Law, who will bring greetings on behalf of the faculty. Thank you. And greetings to you, our graduates, and your families and friends who have supported you throughout your time here at Wayne. On behalf of the university's entire faculty and academic staff, some of whom are participating in this virtual commencement and some who could not be here. We all heartily congratulate you on your graduation today, an especially significant milestone in this year of difficulties caused by the global pandemic. You have succeeded through your studies and your research with excellent faculty in your field and with the support of our academic staff, all of whom have invested in your success, both here at the university and in your future life. We hope that you will continue your pursuit of learning, and we look forward to hearing about your next endeavors, your adventures in discovery, and in engaging with the world around you. Please keep in touch with us. You can tweet us, Facebook us, email us, call us. We are eager to know what you are doing in your life. Those messages from our former students gladden our hearts and they make even the toughest days brighter. So once again, congratulations. I and all the faculty who have worked with you in your studies here applaud you and we wish you success in all that you do. Thank you. It is now with distinct pleasure that I introduce Wayne State's 12th president, Dr. M. Roy Wilson. Thank you, Dean Strauss. Greetings, graduates, and congratulations. If we were all in the Fox Theater right now, as we would have preferred, you would have seen the room crowded with all the people so happy to celebrate your success. Parents, siblings, spouses, children, professors, and advisors. So until we can offer you that in-person experience, you have to imagine those crowds smiling and cheering for you now. We are so very proud of you, and it is my honor and privilege to share this moment with you. The class of 2020 will forever hold a special place in Wayne State's history. You've weathered unprecedented challenges over the past nine months because of this pandemic that has altered life as we know it. More than perhaps any other graduating class in our 152 year history, you have proven yourselves as warriors, strong, persistent, creative, adaptable, courageous, and kind. You understand better than perhaps any generation in a very long time, how the unpredictable can suddenly rear up and change our lives. Many of you grew up in a post 9-11 world when you might have turned on the morning news to see planes crashing into skyscrapers. You survived multiple recessions. You have reckoned with a deadly virus that swept the globe and took hundreds of thousands of lives. You have borne witness to a national awakening to the systemic racism that still plagues this country. The class of 2020 has endured all this trauma, but you didn't just endure. Many of you have thrived, finding an inner calling to become social justice activists or healthcare heroes, or simply more thoughtful, better informed neighbors and citizens in your communities. The world is unpredictable. 
Life is unpredictable. This will never change. You, however, have changed. I wonder if you realize just how much you've changed since you first arrived on this campus. You are better equipped to face that world and thrive and make it a better place because of your time here at Wayne State University. You've learned from the finest faculty who have stretched your intellects and challenged you to push yourself further than you ever have before. You've worked incredibly hard to the point of exhaustion. And by living and learning in the heart of Detroit, you have learned what it means to be a compassionate and engaged member of your community. Industry, intelligence, integrity. These are the words engraved in the Wayne State University seal. And those are the gifts you carry with you as you enter the next chapter of your lives. It may be hard to see in such dark times, but even now, incredible opportunities will present themselves. And because of your time at Wayne State, you are ready to take advantage of them. Louis Pasteur once observed, chance favors the prepared mind. Each of you is prepared for whatever life may bring. And for this reason, I am confident for our shared future in America. Congratulations once again, class of 2020. You are warriors in name and spirit, and I wish you nothing but the very best of life. Thank you, President Wilson. Now we begin the traditional part of the ceremony, the formal acknowledgement of the candidates for degrees and the conferring of those degrees. I would like to ask Provost Klebo to join us to present the candidates. Mr. President, over 3,100 students were eligible and applied to graduate during the 2020 spring, summer, and fall semesters from our 13 schools and colleges. These candidates will now be acknowledged for their degrees by the Dean. From the School of Medicine, the master degree candidates will be presented by Dean Mark Schweitzer. Dean Schweitzer. Mr. President, upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Medicine, I have the honor to acknowledge these candidates for the degrees as listed in the commencement program book. Ladies and gentlemen, now, the most solemn moment of commencement as the President confers the degrees. Mr. President. The authority to confer each of these degrees is vested in the Board of Governors of Wayne State University by the people of the state of Michigan under the Constitution of the state. This authority is delegated to the President by the Board. Each of these degrees is granted on the recommendation of the faculty of the university by the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors and upon the recommendation of the respective faculties, I do hereby confer upon you the degree for which the faculties have recommended you, and I admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities of that degree. Congratulations. Thank you, President Wilson. For all those who are with us today, Please join me in congratulating all of the graduates for their efforts and accomplishments. Back to you, Dean Strauss. Thank you, Provost Klebo. I would now like to welcome Dean Schweitzer back to address the graduates from the School of Medicine and to introduce their speaker. On behalf of the School of Medicine's faculty, I offer our sincerest congratulations on your completion of this magnificent milestone. We, and especially your faculty mentors, could not be prouder of you at this moment. The COVID-19 pandemic has altered all our lives and the traditional graduation ceremonies, but it has halted neither. Your accomplishments are no less significant because of this virtual commencement. You have been tested by the rigorous demands of our scientific education and by the COVID-19 pandemic. In the years to come, I believe you will find that this has made you better researchers and scientists. Today, however, you become the next generation of a legacy founded over 152 years ago. 
you will become living examples of the type of scientists we train at Wayne State. You are now the next layer in that 150-year foundation. I am certain that you will enhance this reputation of our school as you develop your own brilliant futures. Your degree is a passport that contains the power to take you many places and provides the means of many accomplishments. As you embark upon the next chapter of your lives and careers, I ask you to do three things. First, in these uncertain times, stay safe. Second, change the world. That may sound like a tall order, but you have the opportunity to do so every day. Those who endeavor to change the world don't succeed through concession and capitulation. So you need to ask the challenging research questions, maintain a healthy, healthy skepticism, and refuse to accept the answers that come all too easily. Particularly in this era, you will regularly be called upon to examine the world around you, separate the noise from the single, and be called upon to do what is right for science and for medicine. Lastly, I ask that you keep in touch with your School of Medicine so that I and the faculty may celebrate your many successes to come. And I say with all sincerity, congratulations, graduates. Hello, graduates. I am Todd Leff, Associate Professor of Pathology here at the School of Medicine. It is my privilege today to represent the Biomedical Graduate Programs Office in extending our collective congratulations to each and every one of you. Uh, having been asked to represent the School of Medicine, graduate programs is a special honor for me. I have had the pleasure of teaching uh, and interacting with many of you over the last few years and have enjoyed tremendously getting to know you and learning about your academic histories and your plans for your future careers. Uh, another thing that I have learned um, from many of you is how hard you have worked to attain this milestone and, and that many of you have, have progressed successfully through these programs while dealing with a variety of challenges. And of course, one of the challenges we've all had to deal with in the last year is the, the COVID-19 crisis. And I, as difficult and uh, as unexpected as the challenges presented by this crisis have been, I believe they only magnify the significance of your achievements. In my opinion, in fact, one of the few positive uh, positives that has come out of the COVID-19 crisis is that it has trained you to deal with unexpected and unprecedented challenges while still achieving your personal goals. You are now exceptionally well prepared for dealing with whatever obstacles you are likely to encounter as you continue with your careers. I know that some of you are going on to professional health degree programs. Some of you will be embarking on uh, uh, PhDs and uh, entering uh, the beginning stages of a career in research. And some of you are going to be entering the job market uh, directly. Whichever of these adventures you're starting on, I know your education has prepared you well, and I wish you the very best of luck and great success in all your future endeavors. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. Go ahead and cheer. Good job. And now, I would like to introduce Peter Caborn, Associate Vice President for Alumni Relations and Advancement Services and Executive Director of the Wayne State University Alumni Association to welcome the university's newest alumni. Please welcome Mr. Caborn. Congratulations, graduates. You arrived at Wayne State as students, but you leave as so much more. You're powerful examples of success. You've demonstrated that with grit, opportunity, and ambition, anything is possible. When the world drastically changed this year, you were nimble, flexible, you pivoted, and you stayed focused to the finish. It was no easy feat, and that makes reaching this point of graduation even more significant. 
As you move your tassel from student to a graduate of the class of 2020, you also move into the Wayne State alumni community, and we are honored to have you. You now join more than 283,000 people who've also succeeded and continue to succeed. There are Wayne State alumni in every corner of Detroit, in every part of Michigan, all across the country, and all around the world. No matter where your journey takes you, you will find a Wayne State connection. We also hope that you will stay connected with us. We offer many programs and opportunities for our alumni, including ways to give back. Perhaps you're interested in mentoring students who are following in your footsteps or connecting with alumni in your career field. The Alumni Association offers this and much more. And we wanna know what you're doing too. So please share your accomplishments and your updates with us as you achieve milestones throughout your journey. Keep in touch with us and view everything that we have to offer you via our website at alumni.wayne.edu. On behalf of the Alumni Association, congratulations again on your accomplishments. We can't wait to see what you do next. Thank you, Mr. Caborn. Thank you, parents, families, friends, and most of all, graduates, for joining us in this wonderful celebration. And once again, congratulations, class of 2020.